hello guys welcome back so now in this video tutorial we will show the images that the user select from the gallery or capture it from the camera so now in this video tutorial we will work on this else statement which we left in the previous videos so now we will work on this so after this what we will do right here is press enter and then inside here we will create a child and that child will be a column and inside the column we will create a children and the children will be a widget type widget and then right here we will create a container inside uh, this container what we will do is to first make its height to let's just say 250 and after this we will create another child inside this container and the child will be image dot file image dot file and then we will pass the underscore image variable right here okay and what this will do is uh, this will display the image that the user select okay this will display that image and after this we will create a sized box and uh, its height will be uh, 20 after this we will call out that output variable and we will say that if that out variable is not equal to null then what we will do we will show a text and what that text will be we are going to interpolate and inside here we will show our output variable so we will say underscore output and then right here we will access the index from zero and if the output is false then uh, we will just uh, print out a simple container now let's change its uh, style the text style we will type style then text style color colors dot white and the font size will be 15 so now guys this will do our work and now the last thing we need to do is to call out our functions so the first one is pick image so we will copy this and if we go down here here is the first one on tab so we will paste that function right here like this and now the second function is pick gallery image we'll paste that right here okay now if we go up here right here we only need the label which will show if it is a cat or dog so we will just label and we will change this to a dollar sign or else it will give out an error and right here we will add a size box its height will be uh, let's just do 10 and in the assets folder right here labels remove this 0 and 1 and now if we start our application in this course you will learn how to make your own deep learning and machine learning Android and iOS application using Flutter with TensorFlow Lite. You will learn how to make your own object deduction app. Live object deduction app with your phone camera. You will learn how to make your own face deductor or face recognition app with live camera. For example, if there are hundreds of faces uh, in front of you let's say in front of you there are hundreds of people then the app will simply deduct all the faces you will also learn how to make a cat deductor app cat breeds deductor app using which i mean you can identify between different cat breeds for example if the cat is ragdoll epsian or if it is persian or many other cat breeds
you will also learn how to make your own image captions predictions app which simply means that you will simply turn on your live camera and it will tell you all the things that is going on in this live stream for example here you can see on the screen a person is typing on a screen so it says that an open laptop sitting on the top of a screen and you can see the prediction changing at real time which now say a person using a laptop computer on a desk and here you can see I'm sitting on a desk so that is really cool here you can see it now if I move camera toward a computer mouse and keyboard it's a, a close up of a keyboard and a mouse and you can see the other two predictions also so it will basically predict the captions according to the live camera view I mean the camera what is going on in the background The next app that we will develop is basically the Avenger Characters Recognizer app which will simply identify or you can say recognizer all the characters you can say the actresses and actors in Avengers here you can see Thanos and then if we select another picture here you can see Black Widow you can also capture image with your phone camera for example here if I capture this picture And here you can see it says Captain America. The next app that we will develop is basically the Flowers Types Recognizer app, which will recognize different flower types. For example, this one is Tulip Flower. If we select another picture, for example, this one is Candy Line. And if you can also capture any image with your phone camera, for example, I'm going to capture a picture here. And here you can see the next app is the pose estimation app which will basically recognize the different poses for example your left eye right eye your left shoulder right shoulder your left hip your right hip here you can see The next app is the image to text converter app which simply means you can capture any image with your phone camera that contains no matter if there are human beings in it or anything but if that image contains any text then it will basically extract that text from the image and it will display to you that is this text here you can see it uh, on your screen for example if I capture this image So here you can see it you can also select any image from your gallery and it will display the results you will learn how to make cat and dog identifier app cat and dog classifier app in which basically you will uh, capture image with your phone camera or you can also select image from the gallery and it will basically tell you that is this is a dog or this is a cat here you can see the example on your screen The next step that we have is basically the fruit fruits deductor app which simply means in a you will simply point your phone camera toward any fruit live okay with a live camera and it will tell you here you can see it will predict the fruit's name for example the first prediction it made is grabs and then the other one you can also see the first prediction about this one is bananas You will also learn how to make your own dog's breed identifier app which will simply identify any dog's breed. For example here you can see this one is German Shepherd. Then here you can see a one hound with live camera okay this is the live stream here you can see the names. If I change the image here you can see 
American folk song. And many other apps that we will develop in this course. We will develop 15 plus apps. 15 plus apps in this course. So see you guys in the course. And let's test it out how it looks. So our app is starting. Here is the UI of it. And now let's select a photo from a gallery. So select a photo. I already downloaded some pictures. And let's do a cat. Select this cat image. And as you can see right here, it shows cat. And while it's showing this zero, let's uh, restart the app. Maybe this time it will fix it. This is started. Now let's select this picture again. And now, as you can see, it shows cat. And now let's test it again and open up this dog. And as you can see right here, it shows the dog. So now, guys, the cat and dog detector app is now completed. And thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.